well, well, do you think you can fix it? And the guy goes, I mean, I can, but, you know, I just, I just want to let you know. I mean, it'd probably be cheaper just to buy the same model TV at a store. I mean, I don't. I, I don't want to have to charge you more than what you can probably purchase anyway, you know. And she goes, well, maybe there's another way I can pay you. It's like, Jesus, woman, K keep it in the pants. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the stream. Shane, of course, of course, happy to do so, happy to do so. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the stream chat, which is my review, chat, my review for Super Crooks. A series that I, I'd heard about, maybe even seen some clips uh, on like online before they were sent to me. But I, I, I was unfamiliar with the series. I just knew it was an anime dealing with superheroes. I was like, okay, cool. Um, what I did not know is that this show is actually a spinoff of Mark Miller's Jupiter Legacy chat, which was a comic book series, and they adapted it for Netflix, and they soon canceled it after, what, like two weeks after it came out because no one watched it. Um, and and it, it, I think the problem with Jupiter's Legacy it was just so many other shows had done better than that, than that particular uh, series, whether it be The Boys or the, the Watchmen live action series that they did. I think it was just like a year prior and The Boys years prior. And it just felt like, you know, a diminished version of all those things. I didn't even think I even watched. I think I watched like four episodes and I'm like, you know, there's some interesting things here. But overall, I'm just I'm just like, yeah, it just feels like a lesser product. I feel like a lot of other people felt the same way because it didn't really catch on and, and they canceled it. And this is an anime, this is an anime spinoff of that show. Uh, and um, I don't even know if this show is going to continue on. Now, I will say, watching the first episode of this, it definitely caught my attention more than something like Jupiter's Legacy. I mean, honestly, it feels like it should fit into the world of the boys more than Jupiter's Legacy, Chad, just in terms of like how superheroes are are viewed uh, in, in, in this world and, and indulge in excess and things. But before I continue on with my review of episode one, I have a very important question to ask you. That question being, how many of you have seen Netflix's anime series Super Crooks? I'm actually kind of... Um, interested to know and if anyone knows is, is this show going to continue on or is this thing just kind of done at this point because i know that was going to be one of netflix's big new products that they were going to be pushing they were going to do another live action spinoff of jupiter's legacy because i was just reading about jupiter's legacy today and all that shit's canceled and so i i'm just curious if anyone knows definitely the boys yeah definitely it very much feels like the boys helen burger says nope because maybe says haven't seen it lisa says never heard of it casey uh hey there chris happy friday what show are you talking about super crooks anime series which was a spinoff of jupiter's legacy um you know which is mark miller's comic and also the live action netflix series that's what we're doing right now just ask people if they've seen it uh, but happy Friday right back it's been a good friday been a very good friday i saw him it's, it's a super crooks a comic book but oh is it a comic book too so it's a comic book as well, Chad. I think so. It's a comic. So that's what it is. This anime is both an ad, well, an adaptation of the of the comic, but also a spinoff of the live action show that came out. That's what it is. So it's both of those. So they're just set in the world. They're both set in the world of Jupiter's Legacy. That's it. I've seen three episodes. Wasn't for me, says Shane. Jupiter's Legacy was it even good? Not really. Not really. It just felt. It felt like a lesser version of Watchmen or The Boys. Because I was just never seen it on Fox. I won't give too much away, but the ending looks like it could be done. Could could be done good heist anime. There's there's some interesting things in this in this episode, I, I will say. Uh, Casey's never heard of it. Glad I made it. Take. Happy to have you this time. Pleasure to have you. Clue Boss, I pass it by all the time on Netflix. Never click on it. Casey Super Crooks is a manga. And it's part, uh, part of Mark Miller's work. Yes, I believe so. I believe that is the case. Uh, this is the same studio that also makes MHA, which I really like. So, yeah, interesting. So, not a lot of you have seen it. Some of you have heard of it. 
Uh, and only a couple of you have actually watched it, but it doesn't even appear to be all of it. So I don't know if this is getting another season, Chad. I lo was looking up information in regards to this, because this was interesting, because I was just reading about Super Crooks, and it says this right here. This is why I'm reading on Wikipedia. It serves as a spinoff to Jupiter's Legacy. In June 2021, a live-action Super Crook series and a second spinoff from the simultaneously canceled Jupiter's Legacy was announced to be in active development, but they are canceled. <laughs> so I don't think this is happening anymore. This might be a one-and-done kind of thing. However, I do think uh, th this series at least has a pretty strong first episode chat. Certainly fucked up. But, my friend, let me go ahead and get... Oh, I forgot to set this up. Hold on, chat. I knew I forgot something. I got to get this ready. Hold on now. I almost got you. Don't you worry. Let me go ahead and get this up right here. Got to get my notes, chat, so I can keep can I can keep on track, stay on track. I know what I'm fucking talking about. Let's go ahead and do it right here, chat. Ooh wee, boom. All right, there we go, chat. So, Super Crooks Episode 1, chat. It starts in the world of Jupiter's Legacy, which in case you don't know, superheroes started getting uh, front pooped out in the 1920s, 1930s. You had this group of rich white fucks that went to this island, chat, and they came back from the island. They all had superpowers. Well, good for you. But the thing is, chat, apparently when you're a superhero, you are really horny like 23 hours of the day and apparently they did a lot of fucking they did because all the other superheroes of this world in the 70 years that they've been around since like the 1930s oh god at this point like 90 goddamn years uh they were having sex with anything that had two legs chat and they were uh, making people prego or they were getting prego themselves and superheroes and powers just proliferated chat in all different forms of superpowers as well thank you by the way to aztec mosky for the fall you're my new huckleberry hope you're doing well and so it's so many years later it's so many years later chat and we're just in you know uh, your average, you know, middle America community chat. And we're seeing this young boy and he's watching the TV chat, introducing all the various heroes that are the most popular of the time chat. Kind of like a little bit of like the Justice League, if you will. They're called the Union of Justice chat. And you have this one cameraman focusing on this particular character named the Flair. And he has this kid on his shoulder and he's like, here in the grand old USA, us superheroes protects our own. That's what we do. And I I just love little Susie and just kisses her chin once like oh it's so adorable chat and we see this young character named Johnny chat Johnny's watching the TV and he's like oh boy it must be so much fun to have superpowers and be a superhero but then his mom comes in his mom she's got this tube top on chat showing off the bazoongas and she's like why are you still up you need to go to bed and she's like slurring her words so she's clearly been drinking chat she grabs her remote, turns it off. She's like, Mama was watching it. What the hell? She's like, Listen, Johnny, I'm having company come over, okay? You need to go to your room and I want you to go to sleep, okay? She says, Mom, it's not even seven at night. I just got home. What are you talking about? It's only seven. She's like, Listen, you little shit. Get your ass in that room or I'll have Randy beat the shit out of you. Do you hear me? And he's like, all right, mom, geez. And so then little Johnny, he goes to the door. He goes, he goes to his door, check, close the door, goes to bed. You know, reading comic books and shit. And then we hear a big old knock on the door. And she's like, oh, it's Randy. Jeez. <laughs> and she goes to the door. It's Randy, Chad. And he's like, hey, how you doing? Is the kid asleep? She's like, put in the bed. Did you get the beer? He goes, way ahead of you, girl. And then, you know, they start smooching. Uh, we then cut to uh, Johnny's room, Chad. Johnny, he's he has all sorts of superhero memorabilia. He has the action figures. He has the, 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 the movies. He has uh, comic books, Chad. And he's reading one about his favorite character. Their favorite, you know, real life superhero, the Flair, and all of a sudden, the mom comes in. She's like, Jesus. She's like, you know, got like one tit out and everything, and she's like, Oh, jeez, Johnny, why is your light still on? You need to go to sleep. It's Betty time, Betty time. And he's like, oh, Okay, mom. And then she turns up the light and she walks out. But then the light comes back on. 
He didn't flip the switch. She comes back. She says, what are you doing? Just keep the lights off. Don't mess with me right now. She goes, and then, boom, the light comes back on. He's looking at the light like, I didn't do that. I wasn't me. And then she finally comes back over, and she comes back. She's like, I told you. Listen to me. You don't listen, Johnny. And she grabs him by the ear and starts ripping his ear, Chad, like starts pulling on his ear. And he's like, oh, oh, Mom, I told you it wasn't me. I didn't, I didn't do it. It wasn't me, Mom. He's like, you're a liar, fucking liar, like you're stupid fuck father and all of a sudden the bulb is going bup, 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 bup. it's going on off on off on off on off and then it gets on and it goes ooh, it's getting more intense and intense and, and it bursts and the mom looks up she says and the whole lights in the house just all go off they all fucking go off chat and you know we can hear randy just like oh looks like we're having a blackout i suppose he's like oh geez of all the nights whatever it's night now you can't use the lights go to sleep but johnny's like wait a minute did I do that? I just felt something. He's saying to himself, like, I felt something inside me. And then he goes to, like, he has one, like, little remote control truck on his, um, his dresser. And he looks at the lights and goes, and he's, like, concentrating. And then, boop, the lights come on. He goes, off. And the, and the lights in the truck go off. And he goes, on. They come back on. Hit off. He's like, oh, my God. And he looks outside, and he concentrates on this one light, like, right across from his house. And he goes, off and the light goes off he's like on and the light comes back on and then he starts to expand he's like wait a minute it's me i i, I could i could look i could control electricity and he starts to expand like all across the neighborhood all these lights are going on 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 and off on and off we then cut to the uh, room where uh johnny's mom and randy are just fucking we're not really fucking they're dry humping each other they're dry humping like really, really hard, chat. And uh, when, you know, they keep humping back and forth and we cut to the TV that's right in front of them and suddenly just comes on and Super Brian goes, boom, and it explodes. Shit, it explodes. They go, and both Randy and Johnny's mom are like, Jesus Christ. And Randy's like, oh, oh, I just came. And she's like, really? That made you come? He's like, I'm sorry, I got scared. It's like, that's what happens, Chad. Sometimes you blow your load a little too fast when you get a little scared, apparently. Uh, and then Johnny's like, holy shit. I have superpowers, and he's just, he's over the, he's over the world, Chad. He can't, he can't believe it. He's so excited. He's so excited. Uh, next day, next day. Randy's sleeping on the couch, you know, just shirt cocking it the whole time. He leaves. He doesn't give a shit because he doesn't care that his mom's a whore, that she's abusive, and that Randy may or may not be his new dad. He's just happy that he has superpowers, Chad, apparently electrical superpowers. And he meets up with his best friend, Chad, Fatty McTubbs. I don't know what his name is, but he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a heavy set lad. He's a heavy set lad, Chad, and he's riding his bike, and he's like, oh. Oh, Johnny, are you ready to go to school? He goes, yeah, man, but oh, something, something feels different today. He's like, what do you mean? What feels so different? He's like, let me show you. And so then he speeds across like the sidewalk. He's about to cross the street, but all the lights are green. And so if he goes out there, he's going to be hit by a whole bunch of fucking cars. But then, chat. He changes the traffic lights at the last second, and they all go from green to red and causes fucking the cars to, like, swerve and stop. And, like, whoa, because it changes instantly. And he just goes across the way, and, you know, Fatty McTubb is like, oh, my God, that was cruel. And so then they park their, their bikes at the school, and he's like, wait a minute. He's like, Johnny, did you, did you do that? How did you do that? Do you have mind powers? And he's like, I'll tell you at lunch today. But they pass by uh, the cool kids, which are sitting by, like, you know, this uh, bench and stuff. And they have Janice, which um, uh, Johnny's really attracted to. She's a redhead girl. She's pretty cute. And uh, he looks at her, and she looks at him. But then there's this bully guy. He's like, where the fuck you looking at my girl, you goddamn dingus? And he's like, oh, I, I wasn't looking at her. He's like, yeah, man. What are you going to fucking do with her, okay? You can't handle a chick like this, you virgin. Both of you and Fatty McTubbs, you guys are virgins. And he's like, oh, and the Fatty McTubbs is like, no. That's the worst thing to be called is a virgin. And, they, and you know, Johnny's like, he almost stands his ground, but then he kind of like slinks off. But then he's like, on. And then the boom box goes, boom, and it fucking explodes. And it nearly, the shrapnel hits uh, uh, the bully. He's like, Jesus, goddamn shitty boom box. What the hell? Uh, don't worry about it. My dad will buy me another one. And like you, Johnny, you don't have a dad. And Johnny's like, ooh, vengeance. And then eventually, 
He then sits, uh, they go, it's the, later in the day, him and Fatty McTubbs are in the lunchroom and they're talking and Johnny admits to him, like, hey, I think I have superpowers, I think I have control of electricity. And he's like, whoa, holy shit, really goes, yeah, man, it's, it's fucking crazy. And, and, and the Fatty McTubbs is like, it's just like, it's just like Jupiter's legacy, you know, with Josh Dumel. It's just like that when all those rich white fucks went to that island and they came back and they all got that, the superpowers. It's just like you, you must be a descendant of their horny shenanigans he's like oh my god you're right and my mom never said who my dad was that must be it and then Janice comes over Janice comes over. he's like hey what are you guys talking about what are you nerds talking about and he's like oh nothing just super heroes and stuff she goes really she goes oh you know I heard, Johnny, that you're like, you're a really big fan of the flair. I'm a big fan of him, too. When I was, like, visiting Oklahoma this one time, he was there. He was fighting this villain, and it was, like, super freaking cool. And it's like, do you want to talk about it? But then the bully, and Johnny's like, yeah, yeah that'll be fun, Janice, when you sit down. She's about to sit down. And then the bully is like, hey, get your ass over here. What are you talking to those two virgin nerds for? And she goes, oh, I'm just, you know, it's, I, I dropped something, right, Johnny? And he's like, yeah, she just dropped something. She's like, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we'll talk later. Okay, bye. And then she goes and sits over there. And at this point, uh, Fanny McTubb is like, well, listen, if you got superpowers, uh, we got to like, sh we have to see what your abilities are, are, are like. And he's like, yeah, let's do that. And so they go to the arcade and Johnny figures out that he can hack all of the arcade machines so they don't have to pay any money. So he just he just uses electrical powers. He then kind of short circuits the machine and then they're able to play all the games. They have a lot of fun. Uh, eventually, you know, Johnny's, he's thinking about, like, what his superhero name is going to be, and he goes to Fatty McTubbs, and he says, you know, I think I know what my, my superhero name is going to be. I think I want to call myself Electro Boy, and he's like, oh, that's really cool, and then Janice, or no, then uh, Janice and the bully and his whole posse roll up, and he's like, what, what are you talking about, Johnny, calling yourself Electro Boy? What are you, like a superhero? You should be called Virgin Boy. Am I right, guys? Everyone's like, oh, and Jim and Janice is like, oh my god, you're such losers, because you're virgins. You're, like, so lame. And fucking Johnny's like, Janice, no! And he runs away, and he cries. <laughs> and Frank McTubbs is like, no! And they, you know, eventually, we, uh, we, we, we cut to uh, the home of, of, of Johnny where the mom has hired a TV repairman to try to fix the TV. And she just wants to fuck this guy because she's like, well, what do you think you can fix it? And the guy goes, I mean, I can, but, you know, I just, I just want to let you know. I mean, it'd probably be cheaper just to buy the same model TV at a store. I, I mean, I don't. I, I don't want to have to charge you more than what you can probably purchase anyway, you know. And she goes, well, maybe there's another way I can pay you. It's like, Jesus, woman, keep it in the pants. It's like just cleavage. She literally is wearing a shirt where she then pop, pop like just rests her breasts on the back of the couch chat, just in full view of the TV. The repairman. The repairman's just like, I, it's, it's, it's literally two in the afternoon, ma'am. I don't have time for this. He doesn't care. Uh, Johnny comes home and he sees his mom just lusting after this TV repairman who just who really just wants to do his job and probably go back to his wife and kids, Chad. You know, he's, he's, it's hard. It's hard going to all these different homes every goddamn day, having to deal with horny housewives. Uh, and Johnny's like, what, you know, mom's like, oh, hi, Johnny. But Johnny says like nothing to her. He just walks by her because he's like, fuck you, mom. And he's like, and he turns to mom and he goes, he turns to his mother and he says, who was my dad? And she goes, wait, what'd you say? And he goes, never mind. And he just goes to his room and the TV repairman's like, oh, don't worry, ma'am. You know, hormones going through puberty happens to the best of us. And he has his powers, chat. The moment he was going through puberty, the moment he was going through the change, he got all those superpowers. But, he then spends the evening coming up with a costume design. By the way, he's really not good at that at all. He then, uh, then it's the next day at school. He shows it to uh, Fatty McTubbs, who is like, "This fucking sucks," and he's right, it does suck. He's like, "Let me, let me update it." And I will say, Fatty McTubbs, Chad, even though he's called a virgin and he's chubby, very talented kid. He's a pretty good artist. He's a good photographer as well and a videographer. He has, he has all these fucking, you know, skills, you know, and he's mocked. He's mocked just for his appearance. But he then redesigns the suit, 
and it looks a lot better. And Johnny's like, oh, that looks fucking cool. And he goes, hell yeah, let's go ahead and make this suit. And so we get this costume montage show where he's coming up with the costume. They kind of create like a, you know, very amateur looking costume. But for the most part, it looked better than Johnny's shitty design that we saw earlier. And then we get a training montage. The two of them, it's very Shazam-esque. Like with, um, you know, with, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Billy Bastion uh, in the Shazam movie. Just doing all the the powers, trying to see like what are your abilities like and everything, and he finds out that he can like power up like huge like uh, like buildings, and he can provide bioelectrical energy to generators, and that causes things to turn on. Uh, because of his electrical powers, he's able to create like a field around himself, which then makes him able to fly and everything. He can shoot like lightning bolts out of his hand, lightning balls, like everything. He, they're training and training and training. And they even go to like an abandoned mall and they turn all the lights on there and the cops are like, what the fuck's going on? Who, who did this? And they, they get out of there. Um, at this point, after like several weeks of training, you know, Johnny, he doesn't want to be a nobody anymore. He doesn't want to be a loser fucking verge anymore. He wants the ladies chat and he wants the attention. And uh, he wants to have like a big grand debut at this local, at, at the place that, uh, if you want to show off apparently in this town shit, you got to go to the local swimming hole. You got to go to the local community pole. That's where everyone's going to go. And so him and Fatty McTubb decide like, oh, we're going to have you debut yourself there and you're going to sh- do a whole big performance and show off your powers and I'm going to record and we'll put it on fucking YouTube. And he's like, that sounds like a great idea. Nothing could go wrong. And it's like the day of that event and uh, he's got his costume ready. He's going to go to the pool. But then he bumps into Janice and just like, listen, Janice, Johnny, like, I'm, like, really sorry that, like, I called you, like, a lame Luther virgin. It's, like, I have to say, like, I forget what the bully's name. Like, Billy? Billy's, like, a total asshole, okay? He's, like, not sensitive, and he only likes me because of my big boobs. And you just seem, like, really sensitive, and I like superheroes, and you like superheroes. I think we, like, should hang out sometime. And he's, like, that would be great. He's, like, oh, I'll be at the swimming pool. And she goes, oh, my God, I'm going to go to the swimming pool, too. I'm going to hang out with my girls, and we can, like, definitely talk and stuff. And he's, like, cool. And so she goes to the pool, and like a shit ton of people are at the pool chat and then uh you know fatty's like listen are you ready are you ready to debut your 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 incredible abilities in front of everybody and he's like hell yeah i am fatty and so then he puts the costume but he's super fucking nervous he's super nervous he's sweating chat he seems very anxious and uh he's like he he flies up there but he's like oh he's like his flights now he hasn't really got the flying down yet he's a little awkward with it and he's just up there and no one notices him <laughs> like no one's looking up and he's going <clears throat> hello and like he's no one's noticing him and then fatty's like hey look up in the sky is that a new hero and everyone like looks up and they're going like huh and he goes yes I am a new hero. And he's like, oh, shit. And he kind of, like, starts to to show off some of his electrical powers. But then, because, you know, he's wearing a domino mask, the bully who's also in the pool, like, wait a minute. That's fucking Johnny. That's that lame loser virgin Johnny. Hey, Johnny, why you dressed like a fucking virgin? (laughs) And everyone, like, starts, like, it's Johnny. Everyone starts laughing at him. Everyone starts mocking him. And Janice, Janice is just kind of like, what the fuck? She just can't believe that he has superpowers. She's, like, amazed by it, really. And, but Johnny, he, he, because everyone's laughing, because everyone's just, um, uh, mocking him, this causes his anxiety to go into overdrive and he loses control of his powers and he and he falls. He falls like ah! and he boom right into the pool, right in the pool. The problem is, chat, uh, he has electricity powers. And when you mix electricity with a huge body of water, it's not gonna end very well because as soon as he hits the pool, everyone is fried alive inside of the pool chat. So what started out is kind of like, oh, it's like, you know, it's kind of like a come of age superhero story, but you know, it's still, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's kind of edgy. It's modern. Everyone's, he got all these really cruel kids and he has a parent who doesn't, doesn't love him. It's like, okay, I see what you're doing. But for the most part, it's like, yeah, kind of wholesome, right? And it's like, no, <laughs> no, he falls in that fucking pool and he fries all of those kids. Shit. He cooks them like hot dogs the bullies like rah, rah, rah. the bullies fucking eyeballs explode and like all of the or all of his brains and blood just shoot out of his nose like a goddamn water jet jet ha- everyone's shitting them it's just like oh ah, ah. it's like it's horrible 
and this causes this then causes like the this huge like gush of water to shoot up and like there's a truck driving nearby this truck driver looks to the side and can't believe what he's seeing uh, and then he like he he goes back to traffic and oh shit he's, he he went over to the wrong lane and he accidentally runs over this fucking car blah, 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 and this fucks up like the bottom of his truck and his truck then careens into a church where they're they're holding like choir practice and boom right in there the church collapses on the priest and all the various parishioners and the entire children's choir they all fucking get smushed and they die chat another truck driver he sees like oh my god and uh this causes like this huge like this lamppost of boom just fucking uh collapse on him chat or like hit his car bludgeons him to death he careens into a gas station which causes an explosion and incinerates the local taco hut taco hut's just gone chat and this then causes the truck driver's truck to then shoot up into the air shoot up all the way in the air chat careen back towards the pool and then smashes into the pool chat and all of a sudden like the back of the truck looks like it's expanding like something like heavy was like spread out and then it's all expanding and boom and it bursts and it's all of these hogs all of these full-grown pigs chat that then fall into the pool which is still being electrified by Johnny and all of these pigs are literally cooked side by side with all the children and everyone else inside the pool chat and they and they pop and things Johnny then comes up from the water and sees just the in the 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 the, um, the um, sheer amount of fucking carnage that he has just unleashed upon this community chat and he turns around and Janice is just sitting there she got out of the pool like just in time and she's sitting there right up on the pool's edge going like oh my oh my oh my god and Johnny just fucking oh I gotta go and he fucking takes off he fucking takes off chat cool you I'm starting to get a fuzzy wuzzy having the dice that's what happens man you get a little fuzzy wuzzy those kids are feeling fuzzy wuzzy too <laughs> a little too fuzzy wuzzy uh we then cut and uh, multiple paramedics, policemen, firemen have arrived. You know, uh, they're attending to the wounded. They're, they're, they, I mean, they're, they got so many body bags everywhere. Uh, at one point, Johnny's just there. He's out of the costume and things. He's got that thousand yard stare look. And like a police officer comes over and he's like, yeah, I have, do you need some coffee or cocoa? I think he's like trying to like, hey, are you okay? And Johnny goes to reach for it and he accidentally electrocutes the cop like static and goes, oh shit, Jesus. And it like crashes. He's like, I gotta go. And he fucking runs away. And then he goes to the mall. He then goes to the mall. He's just sitting next to the abandoned mall. He's just sitting there. And then Fatty McTubbs is like, hey, dude. Um, well, that really sucked. <laughs> Yeah, that really, that really sucked, Chad. Yeah. Yes, it did. Damn, well, they got amazed. When does Billy Butcher show up to Johnny fucking, they got to kill this kid? Maybe. I, I have expected. Like, and this is when the boys come in, right? They should have. Thank you for the 100 biddies, Deadpool. Uh, and the guy goes, and Johnny's like, listen, Fatty, you got to believe me. I, did, I, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to kill all those people. And Fatty's like, uh, it's okay, dude. I know. I understand. He, like, touches him. He's like, it's okay. We're going to get through this together. He's like, no, like, fuck this place. I hate it here. I just, I just want to get out of here. He, like, slams the side of the wall he's sitting next to, which also has an ATM machine chat. He slams it, which then causes, a, like, a slight burst of electricity to come out of his hand. And it hits the the ATM machine and a couple of hundred dollar bills come out. It goes boop, 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 boop. It's like about, you know, three or four. And he goes, wait a minute. And he's like, I did that. He's like, yeah, I guess so. He's like, yeah, I did that. And he hits the machine again. He hits him again. And like, thousands tens of thousands of of, of hundred dollar bills just start getting sh shooting out of the machine shoot on the machine and he's like <laughs> then he's like <laughs> why, why are we laughing because i'm getting out of here tonight man i'm starting my whole life over i'm reinventing myself baby get a sack man get a bag let's get the fuck out of here then we cut and it's many years later and we see johnny in jail behind these bars and he's much older he's got a beard now and he's like see told you i'd get out of there anybody's now he's in fucking prison chat 
He's now in prison for who knows how long. And that, my friends, is my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown to Super Crooks episode one show, which I imagine we're going to follow an adult Johnny as a super villain, as a super crook, committing all these various crimes, chap. Trying to, uh, you know, accomplish these big heists. And I imagine murdering a lot of people along the way. It is very fucking dark. It's a dark ending. I was, I was like, I couldn't believe the destruction. He, like, so many fucking kids died in this episode, Chad. The body count was high. <laughs> high. And Johnny's kind of a piece of shit. Didn't have a great upbringing, but it's like, dude, really? Oh, so he's just, he has, like, no inhibitions. He's just going to be doing whatever the hell he wants to do now, Chad. I just final destination my whole neighborhood. There's no getting over this shit. Yeah. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I can't come back from it. Might as well keep going deeper. Oh, my Lord. I was, it was dark. It's a dark show. It's a dark show. And it's a really dark show. But it's, 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 it surprised me. I didn't, it's like, oh, it's going to be wholesome. He's going to deal with this. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He So much murder at the end of that first episode, chat. And they did like a next time on Super Crooks. And it's like him getting out of prison, like escaping. And him getting back with his other fellow supervillains, I guess, to commit other heists. And I think there's an adult Janice, and she's a part of their... That's his girlfriend, so she's, like, apparently got off to him murdering all those people. I don't fucking know. Uh, but I'll probably do um, episode two review for that, because I think I owe episode one and episode two. So I'll be doing episode two next week, most likely, chat, and I'll give you an update and see what kind of person Johnny is as an adult. I imagine he is still a piece of shit. But we'll find out. What powers would I want? Oh, God. Teleportation, I think, would be really cool. I think teleportation, mind reading, uh, those would be super, super valuable, I think, in real life. Either of those two. Teleportation or um, mind reading. Telepathy, if you will. Those would be mine, Chad. Those would be mine. Finally, I show some of the Suicide Squad, but instead of working for the government, they're using their powers for themselves. Very much so. Very much so. Yeah, that's that. At least that's the sense I got. But it was a, it was a slick episode, Chad. Very very dark, very disturbing. However, but now my friends, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of that Elden Ring. 